day now that you have lit it mm -hmm. you are going to have to find a way to take it out it's backwards that's backwards that's backwards that's state oh, you you're right. <laughs> yeah. you see my twofer yes I did I actually kind of I could have spread like took spliced them so they spread all spread them apart but I didn't because <laughs> Yeah, I just start the set list because I feel yeah, like just, yeah, just singing my woes away. Talk to everyone. We had kind of a rough, a rough start Beyond here. Beyond rough. My roadie is not to be seen at the moment, so. Don't All match right. me. Alrighty. Not paying attention. We're good. We're live. It's all you. Welcome to Radio Rio, the long and belated, the long-awaited and very much belated concert that might now happen. Usually has fire. We have a new fire today because that fire refuses to turn on. <laughs> um, so, uh, the first song that I had planned is "Don't Grow Up Too Fast," and I'm going to just start without any fanciness, just doing it. Baby, tell you that don't grow up too fast. You're still my baby brother, and I want it to last. From your baby blonde curls to your pretty blue eyes, your silly white smiles to your sad blue cries. Don't grow up too because the echo <laughs> I'm like I hear it but I don't know if that's just the echo or something that's awful absolutely awful I just for the first time I, I know you well enough to know when it is and it's not I'm like that's wrong that was way out of tune was it? I must have changed it like well now it's fixed okay don't grow up too fast, everybody. Which makes it sound like I'm saying it to them. <laughs> Little baby David, don't grow up too fast. You're still my baby brother, and I want it to last. From your baby blonde curls to your pretty blue eyes, your silly white smiles to your sad blue cries. Don't.
money feels like it. So what do we got going on here? Hmm? That's a, that's a Hanukkah. Yeah. <laughs> no? You're not going to? No. Okay. I'm going to just move it's into the fire. next song. Sweet. Is that bad? It's not horrible. David, here, hold this. I need a roadie, bub. Yay, David. All right. The next song I will be doing. So, D Don't Crop Too Fast was the first song that I wrote that I finished. Like, I had a bunch of other songs, but they were always little pieces. I wanted to, um, after I wrote that one, all the other boys were jealous because they didn't have songs of their own that were finished and completed. So um, I wrote, I had one for AJ, I had one for Paul, and then I had one for David, and Evan was upset because he never had one. And so I wrote him a little one, but he didn't like it. <laughs> um, so he's mad at me like, what are you doing out in me? So I'm going to, uh, the song that I wrote for him, but also for the rest of my entire, all of my brothers, uh, is a song called I'll Be There, which is my next song. You can 
trust that he'll be there Falling down on my seat <laughs> So that one that one I like because it can be used and applied to different situations instead of just like siblings. I, uh, in my eyes, it was for my brothers from like an older sibling to a younger sibling, but it could also be from a parent to a child or friends to each other or just anything. I just, I like the song and I tried to make it vague so that it could be used for more than one scenario. And I think I did okay at that. Um, it tried to be vague, but some, yet somehow still specific. Um, the next song I'll be singing is called... is one of my first Christian songs that I really wrote. No, there were other ones. This one was the first one that I, like, put a lot of effort into. <laughs> um, it sounds bad, but I have, like, songs that are just, like, nothing. But, but um, this one was a song that I started when I was maybe 12, and then didn't know how to finish, and it took me a while to, because it's basically a spiritual journey that I feel like everyone goes through, um, and I don't think it's a spiritual journey I'm quite done with yet, but um, I like this because just like the, just like I'll be there, I feel like it's very, um, it can be applied to all people, I think, I hope. <laughs> so this next song of mine is called Help Me Daddy. me, Daddy, I can't hear your voice. My mind is so crowded, full of so much noise. I fear if I Show me who I am. 
I did not mess up on that song at all. <laughs> I'll just tell you right now, I felt myself like I did, like there were three times in the song where I went, did I, did I, did I? No, no, no. <laughs> like the panic of like, you need to go back. But. I mean, if I, had, I rearranged the song so that they'd flow together. So you have Stephanie applauding and fangirling so hard. And Sarga Sargus is See. saying, well done. I nominate her for cheerleader. Yeah. Like hardcore. I might I might even buy her some pom poms. <laughs> <laughs> um so I the, the next song that I have is a song that is fairly new. I wrote it a little over a week ago. Um I want to have this thing where I have um new songs. Like my mom has this thing where she's like I need you to finish a song or write a new song, or how did he, every week. And so, <laughs> last week's brand new song is uh, is called The Potato Song. I still don't have an official name. It might be Found or I Unfound. I don't know if it's Found or Unfound, because I say both equally. So, g after hearing the song, mm. I would like to hear a vote on whether it to be called Found or Unfound. But so far, it's just called The Potato Song, and that might just, people might get attached to that. It happens. Mm. <laughs> um... Uh, it will forever be known. As the potato song? Yeah, it'll be. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know if anybody can hear me, but yeah, I think that in general, everyone will remember it as the potato song. Well, I think I could put it in like, it's called Unfound and then in parentheses, potato song. Because. So, oh, the, oh, the re my mom wants me to explain. My, so, I have this silly thing that I do when um, I explain. Like, okay, so I'll pretend that I'm in front of like a few random people or I'm in front of a crowd or something when I'm like by myself and they will basically say like, okay, I don't believe you can write a song on the spot. And I'll be like, oh, I totally can write a song on the spot. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't believe you. Okay, write a random song about blank. And I was pretending that someone said, write a s song about a potato who doesn't want to be un like dug up. And so then I wrote a little thing and then I was like, that has potential, and so that's how it all started. So it was basically, it started out being about a potato, but the potato is more of a metaphor. Um, so, ev next step, potato song. It has a capo. It's a capo. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm growing underground. I might go a little deeper so I can't be found. Cause I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, not yet. Soon the gardener will come around He's gonna dig us up till we're all found But I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, not yet Cause I haven't had the time to grow my roots What will I leave behind when I'm removed Taken away and lifted above the ground Well, I've left my mark on this place Well, I've left a spark that ignites change In the lives of those who will be left unfound Un Bound under ground The garden works his garden He's planning for the harvest And I want more time Cause I know I will be leaving As soon as it's the season to be
Just know you just got a call and I will come So I said here I am, I'm siding underground I dug a little deeper so I wouldn't be found Cause I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, not yet but if you grab the others, don't forget me As much as I don't want to go yet, I don't want you to leave me here And I guess that I fear that I haven't had the time to grow my roots What will I leave behind when I'm removed? Taken away into your hands safe and sound Will I have left a mark on this place? Will I have left a spark that ignites change in the lives of those who will be left unfound? Unfound underground. The gardener works his garden. He's planning for the harvest and I want more time cause I know <laughs> well, the funny part about that song, I don't know if anyone could notice, but the potato is me. <laughs> um, but I, when after doing that, like I, I wrote the little, here I am, hiding underground, I'm gonna go a little deep so I can't be found, cause I don't wanna go, like that whole part, I did that, I did that too. I, re I listened to that, I was like, whoa. And all of a sudden I was like, that that's me. And so I wrote the rest from my point of view, but under the perspective of a potato. <laughs> And then I and, and I didn't realize how perfect it is. I, me and my best friend, her joke is like there's a joke between the two of us that I'm a potato. I don't. We were just we went over a trip and it was a thing. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm the potato. <laughs> it was like this thing. Um, so that was the song that I for last week. But this week for my final song, I'll be. Uh, I had a song um, called "I'm Sorry for Myself." And this past week, I finished it, uh, and so that will be, that'll count as my new ditty. That's a good one. And mainly because I just, I love the beat. So, this is finally finished. It is officially about Yay. two or three weeks old, um, so it's pretty good timing for me. <laughs> um, uh, so, everyone, this is called, I'm sorry for myself, just sorry for myself. spent this year feeling sorry for myself blaming most things on 2020 but it didn't do much for myself it stole the joy when there was plenty no more i'm done wasting these opportunities no more won't run now that i see 
thank you for listening and being bearing with the, the constant amount of craziness. <laughs> um, I, I was dead before the candles blew out. Okay, I'm kind of proud about that. Um, one, okay, one. Um, uh, thank you for listening. Please tune in again. We will be back. We will be back next Wednesday, but we have, there's this idea, this may or may not happen, that my brothers will join me, and instead of singing originals, we're just going to sing the Sassling version of Christmas songs. So we're just going to get a bunch of holiday songs together, and we're going to pull out instruments, and uh, Evan's going to bring out his bell kit, and the boys will probably bring out their kazoos. So, because that's what they play. All right. Uh, thank you for listening. We'll see if that happens. Join us next week uh, for another Radio Rio or a holiday special, depending on what happens. Still figuring it out. Um, <gasps> One night. Um, all righty. Thank you so much, and have a nice week. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs>